Hello, everyone. It's time to get back to some Xbox Live Indie Games. I don't think, however, I'm going to be doing those larger roundup videos anymore. Rather, I'm just going to stick to doing videos of individual games that have come out recently that perhaps warrant some attention for one reason or another. For good or for bad. Most likely bad. Makaga Software Development. And today we're playing The Undead Syndrome, a tale of horror, of terror, for Xbox Live Indie Games. And we are off to a sinister start. Our main character here was attacked by a boy with a knife. We saw ourselves rising up into the sky, and then we were here. So what could possibly be happening? Well, we can't open this box, but if we find the owner of the knife, it does say that he has the key. What? We went through green smoke and ended up by the knife. All paths lead back to the knife. With... with sorcery. That's symbolic. Now, that's symbolism right there. The creators of the Undead Syndrome, obviously masters of the craft. Of the art of building tension. Oh wait, this door is locked, so maybe we can come back here later, if we survive for that long. So... You're telling me, game, I can't believe this is happening either. So, we've come across a giant undead Spider-Man, and he's intangible. Obviously heavily symbolic of childhood trauma. Well, despite what the wall says, we can't actually kill... this. We can't seem to hurt it at all. We can walk through it, but it doesn't seem to bother him. Maybe we should just leave him alone. He doesn't seem to be doing anything to us. And we have to explore this creepy house anyway. Oh, wait, hold on. But first, we should really search that body, because, yes, the message did say that the man with the knife had the key, and he is the man with the knife. Terrifying. This is truly psychological horror. We went through the green smoke again, and came out through the wall scroll. The Undead Syndrome expertly keeps you off balance. It gives you that sense of uneasiness, because... Yes. In the Undead Syndrome, you never know what's going to happen next. What kind of... Oh, you see? See what I mean? That boy was alive. And he's coming after us with that knife. And we can't actually do anything to him right now, so we're just gonna have to retreat. We did pick up that key, so let's get back to that box with the knife and see if we can open it now. And inside the box, there were psychic powers. 
We can do this now. So now that we can shoot mine bolts, maybe we should go back to that kid with the knife and show him what for. Oh, Alright, there he is. Let's ain't no, nope, missed. And, oh, hold on. Two of them. I told you. Expect the unexpected in the undead syndrome. You never know what'll be around the the corner to terrify you. I have a key meter in the lower right. It drains as we shoot, so I have to manage that. It'll uh, go back up over time, or I can use items to restore it. And my key blasts are not doing too much damage to the kid, but... Alright. I just enough to put him down. Let's uh, restore that with one of the items we've picked up from these boxes. There we go. Now the wall did s Hold on, I saw a third kid back there. Yeah. The wall did say kill them all and had three faces, so... I would assume that we need to defeat them all. These representations of what are surely childhood fears the main character possesses. It's all very symbolic. Uh, surely the protagonist was bullied by shirtless boys when she was a little kid. And that is the... The dark memories from her past that this nightmare realm is extracting in order to torture her and terrify her and, and, and stuff. Or maybe what this represents is maybe when she was younger she was responsible for the death of her little brother in some kind of boating accident or something like that. I don't know. Maybe. Whatever the reason, she's terrified of boys with sh without shirts and knives. Maybe, or maybe it's just the knives. I leveled up. I murdered the childhood fears and leveled up because of it. All right. So we've accomplished our only goal so far, and that, and that we killed them all. So I guess we have to figure out what else we might need to do to escape this nightmare world. You know, the, the protagonist says that this must be a nightmare, even though she woke up into this world after be- Hold on. Will- Will the nightmarish visions ever end? Oh, my- My psychic blasts are much more powerful now. Now that I've leveled up, I can just kill them in two. Alright. Wait, what was that? Oh, I can rob the corpses. I didn't know that before. I didn't realize there was money. Why would you need money in this nightmare house? Well, I guess there would have to be, right? Since money is the root of all evil, and this place is obviously very evil and malevolent, there would have to be money here. That would only make sense. Oh, oh no! The terror. Uh, uh, yeah. Well, it's a good thing it ended when it did. I don't think my heart could have taken anymore.